Okay, today I'll be showing you how to move your sound recording files with Windows Sound Recorder to a different hard drive. And you may want to do this because you're using a SSD hard drive and you want to reduce the wear and tear on your SSD hard drive. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it from C drive, which is my SSD drive, to E drive, which is a mechanical hard drive I have on this computer. So I'll show you how to do this. I'll show you where the location of the file is. So first you open up Sound Recorder. Just type in Sound. Sorry, it's Voice Recorder. Okay, there it is. That's where, that's the program. And you go right here and you open file, open file location. And this is where the file is located. Your recording files. So, go in there. And what you want to do is you want to change the name or you want to delete it. So you can change it to, to something like this. But the point is that file, that folder cannot exist when you use mklink command. Or it won't work. It will say, come up with an error message of saying that that file exists and you can't create that link. So you could either change the name like what I did here or you could just delete it altogether and that would also work too and it would just uh, create a new link that's basically what you have to do okay after you delete that um, go to the hard drive that you want to make the link to uh, mine is just temp drive and files. I did this earlier, so I'm just going to delete that. Right? So, this is where I want to s save my sound files to. So, this is where it is. Okay. I'm going to paste it there. I also want to paste this as well. Okay, so I'm going to type and the first one is this is a source um, drive location where I'm going to get the file from which is um, right there I paste it in that the name we had earlier was this I'm gonna copy that and paste it right here and then put that to close it and the next one is the file location where I want to send the file to where I want the sound files to go to and I selected this directory which is this directory right here I copy it and paste it within these quotation marks there's one quotation mark and there's the other one and the closing quotation mark and just copy all that Now I'm going to open up a uh, command prompt CMD. Just going to run it into administrator, run it administrator mode. I always do that. So I'm going to copy that command that I uh, typed and put it right here. Pasted it there. And then just press enter. Now we have a symbolic link which was created from uh, C drive 
users, that's where the sound recording um, files go to, to this folder right there. So that's done. I'll leave everything in the video descriptions so you can see it later. And I want to see if it works. I'm going to test it out right now. So I'm going to go to sound recorder. I'm going to record something. Uh, I'm recording this video right now. And I'm going to check if this file is going to the link that I just created. Okay. Let's stop. Okay, there it is. That's the file. That's the recording file. So as you can see, this is a little bit different than what we had the, before. This is more like a shortcut, you see. And the shortcut is going to... E drive temps, sound. That's what I just recorded. Uh, I'm recording this video right now and I'm going to check if this file is going to the link that I just created okay it worked okay good okay, thanks for watching